only about 2% of you guys are subscribed to the channel. So I really hope you guys would hit that subscribe button so we can get to 1K subscribers by the end of this weekend. And as soon as we can, so we can get this channel out the mud and get this out on the algorithm so we can be in high standing for the 2024 election year. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to On Point Politics. And today I'm going to be going over how Trump can win the black vote in 2024. Now, before we get started, if you do enjoy the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you share this video with a friend so we can get the channel out on the algorithm. And without further ado, here we go. And so Donald Trump, poised to win more black votes than any Republican in history, says the article title. Donald Trump may win more black votes than any other Republican in history in the upcoming presidential election. According to national swing state polls, the former president has been receiving around 14 and 30 percent of the black vote as we head into election year. That's the thing, guys. He's been polling really, really well in a lot of the recent polling data and some of it may be overestimating him. But that is for another day. And maybe when we get to Election Day, we'll see whether or not it underestimated him or not. But clearly, he's performing much better in polling when it comes to black voters than initially before. And so this kind of goes over how he's going to outperform Nixon in the black vote and stuff like that. But uh, that's not really the point of this. The point it's, it's not really the point of whether he can get more raw total votes than Nixon. It's more about whether he can actually win it against Biden. And so right here, you can see that Joe Biden, his approval rating has gone down to 61 percent with black voters. And you can see that even though Biden got really good margins or decent margins with black voters, especially 80 88 percent of the black vote in georgia he still only won the state by twelve thousand votes which is a problem because it's like okay if you're maxing out your potential with black voters and you're kind of hitting your ceiling then it's like and you're and you're barely winning the state it's like okay that's not good at all and so now with trump performing you know way better than before in polling it seems like biden is going to be at a disadvantage and especially when biden's favorables are going down it's going to be a big problem and so right now, it seems like even Trump's favorable has stayed the same with 25% from the black community, which is exceptionally well compared to his 2020 performance. And so if you look at this, black males especially cite prices of basic needs, food, for example, as despite the decline in inflation. And clearly, there are a lot of people that say, well, the inflation rate's going down, but that doesn't really mean that prices are necessarily still going down. And People still feel economic restraint and stress throughout the country. And just because a metric says, hey, it's going down, doesn't mean that people are going to automatically change their mind. They're going to have to see real results for them to do so. And so if you look here, it says Biden is no Obama. He is not a candidate who excites and has offered little, if anything, specific to the African-American community since 2021. If you guys do know this, he was the originator of the 1994 crime bill, which got a massive amount of black people incarcerated for, you know, crimes like possessing marijuana, even though his son, you know, does the exact same thing on a daily basis. You know, it is I can understand why black voters, you know, would be upset about that and why it really doesn't make any sense that he really did, you know, get a high black vote share in 2020. You know, a lot of that was due to COVID turnout and anti-Trump vote. But clearly now that Biden's disapproval rating has gone a lot higher in general, it is going to affect him more on Election Day with black voters. And so if you look at this, a lot of black voters are probably going to end up staying home and some of them will probably end up breaking towards Trump. The ones that do come out are going to be energized to kind of vote for Trump. Now, it's not guaranteed that Trump wins the black vote is definitely not because, you know, Democrats have been winning the black vote for many, many years now. But, you know, I think they are massive. He is massively favored or at least that Trump is massively favored to get in striking distance of the black vote. What will probably happen is RFK is probably going to perform respectively well in some states, and he'll probably get around 10 to 15% of the black vote, and Biden will probably get around, you know, high 40s, and Trump will probably get in the low 30s. Trump will probably come within 10 points of getting the black vote. Now, the only reason why he wouldn't necessarily win the black vote is mainly due to black female voters, which would probably go against Donald Trump, you know, because a lot of black male voters have a much higher favorability rating of the president more than you know so another and more than 
black female voters. And this is, I'm going to like just outline an electoral college scenario for you if he were to in fact win the black vote by, you know, the closest margin. So basically, if you were to tie Biden with the black vote, this is pretty much what would happen. Wisconsin would be a likely margin. Same thing with Michigan. Same thing with Pennsylvania. North Carolina would be, you know, pretty much a, you know, eight point win there. Georgia would be likely. Florida would be over 10 points at that point. Texas would be a likely state. Uh, New Mexico would probably still be likely. Hawaii would be safe still, but much closer. Alaska would probably be a likely margin. Arizona would probably be about a two-point win. Nevada would be a likely margin. Minnesota would be lean. And at this point, I think Nebraska's second district would flip. Um, New Hampshire would flip on top of that. And Virginia would probably be a narrow flip, leaving Illinois and in Illinois and New York, you know, up for grabs to see who could potentially win it. But I think these would be the closest ones at that point. A lot of black voters are very upset with a lot of the illegal immigration coming out of the Biden administration, especially in places like Illinois and New York. You know, migrants flooding their cities, you know, a lot of schools kicking out students to replace them with migrant housing, a lot of migrants getting resources that the black community would necessarily need. And a lot of black voters feel like it's not fair that these people get to get, you know, certain, you know, benefits that they wouldn't get, even though they are citizens of the United States. And a lot of people are very fed up with that, especially in places like Chicago and in New York City. And so that's pretty much it for today's video. I just kind of want to go over a brief analysis of why I think Trump could probably win the black vote in 2024. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you guys share this video with a friend so you can get the channel out on the algorithm. And without further ado, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.